And overnight, Russian President Vladimir Putin sent troops into two separatist regions of Ukraine, appearing to disregard Ukraine's sovereignty. The White House is now changing its stance, calling the troop movements an invasion. All of this, of course, is happening as the world weighs just how to stop Putin's advances and really braces for what could still come next. We're covering every angle of this breaking story right now. NBC News reporter Matt Bodner joins us from Moscow. NBC News senior congressional correspondent Garrett Hake joins us live from Capitol Hill. Matt, I'd like to start with you because there's there's some breaking news just now out of Moscow. What can you tell us? Thank you, Morgan. Well, the Russian Federation Council, this is the upper house of Russia's legislature, has just uh, granted Putin a request to deploy the Russian military abroad. This was done uh, in a surprise session unplanned uh, called about an hour or so ago. Uh, and they kind of rushed it on through. Now, uh, they are describing this uh, uh, as a deployment on the basis of generally recognized principles and in international law, with some suggestions from lawmakers that it is related to the peacekeeper deployments that was agreed upon uh, in, a, in bilateral treaties with the newly recognized by Russia uh, statelets, breakaway statelets in eastern uh, Ukraine. But that was already kind of in writing, so it's not entirely clear uh, what is going on here? They didn't give us too many details, but if you look further at the actual authorization, essentially what has just happened is the Russian parliament has given Putin a blank check in terms of scope, size, uh, uh, and, and time frame for a deployment. So this is, this is breaking right now. We'll let you know more when we know it. And Matt, you know, Vladimir Putin spoke just last night to Russian media, essentially saying that Ukraine was part of Russia. And he, and he sort of said it always was part of Russia. So how is that being received, that side? Well, it's been interesting. So we've seen this kind of played over and over kind of in the state media today. We still don't really have kind of a good understanding of, of, of its broad reception by the Russian public. I think, you know, we need to wait for some independent polling data. But suffice it to say, these were messages that have been kind of long, long promoted in the Russian state media, though this is, I have to say, one of the more forceful, aggressive expressions of it that we've seen. Uh, and it definitely strikes a chord uh, with some, but we're, we're seeing it repeated over and over, uh, alongside with the repeated accusations that the Ukrainian military, the Ukrainian government uh, is threatening is already engaged essentially in human rights abuses uh, in the east. So again, the question just is, 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 is this sinking in? I don't think we've had enough time yet to definitively, to definitively answer that question. All right. NBC's Matt Bodner there for us live from Russia. Matt, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.